Good afternoon, I have to say. Really excited actually to be here now, uh, having seen Noah in London, and the first time seeing this in my, uh, in my hometown here in Berlin. Really cool. It also feels really good, I have to say, to uh, Ariana's uh, comment earlier, to uh, speak after the champions um, and kicking off the challenger track. As uh, also we like to think as ourselves in a more humble way, as um, still as a challenger, keeping us at our toes every single day and uh, continue to evolve our business. So we call it Facebook, uh, you know, this journey is 1% finished, meaning that, you know, we have to continuously rethink our business model and uh, basically answering the question, what can we do today and what can we focus on today to create more value for people in the future. And companies that ask that question, probably like a lot here in this room as well, no matter how old, uh, behave like a startup. So I want to share with you in our own startup way how we think about this and how we continue to evolve. Facebook mission is to give people the power to share and make the world more open and connected. And we do this and thus uh, stay relevant now to 1.4 billion people on our Facebook app, the core, the core Blue app. But what you can see is it is not only that one Facebook app anymore that does it all. We've created this family of apps, unique apps from groups, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, that each create a unique way for people to share and to connect in their very own way. And this is very important as we look at, you know, the business evolving and in the you know, current environment answering that question, what do we have to do today to create more value for people in the future is ever more complex. And it's getting more complex with the technology changing, evolving on a constant basis, and it's getting more context with us, every one of us having that supercomputer in our pockets with a tap of a thumb with instant and infinite supply of content. So what we want to do is we want to simplify things. As a next step, we want to make things simpler. And that means for us simply making better sharing experience and foremost across all of our apps. So let me share with you how we're going to do that. Let's start with Messenger. Messenger is, uh, a lot of you might, might know it, you know, it's a large uh, messaging platform connecting by now 600 million monthly active people on that platform and giving the opportunity to connect and share and, uh, you know, trying to be, of course, a very essential communications tool in the world and hopefully connecting hundreds of millions more people on that platform. At F8, this is our Facebook Developers Conference, a few... Um, uh, months ago now this year, we announced a range of innovation from, you know, adding photo, photo editing to video. We also integrated uh, voice over IP. And we integrated send money functionalities for people to share in Messenger, also financial transactions. And one of the things we announced as well is that we'd open up Messenger as a content platform for our partners to give our partners the opportunity to build apps to reach those 600 million people in new ways and create contents and new opportunities for them to share. Now think about it, as we're trying to build an essential communications tool for the world, it's you know, also important to change the way how businesses and people communicate on this. So in this example, you have a you know, person ordering a sweater, a sweater online, and imagine you don't get an, you know, a letter by post or an email, but you actually get a message in, uh, into your messenger. And then you can use that message to track, to track your order, where it is, and if you want, you can actually directly start interacting if you have any questions with that supplier. And that takes that whole level of connection, communication between business and people to a whole new level. Let's look at another member of our family, Instagram. Instagram is probably one of the fastest growing online communities today with over 300 million 
monthly active people on the platform. And Instagram is the place for inspiration, so imagery, the most universal language. And people come to Instagram for capturing and sharing world's moments. And that could be moments from your family, your friends. It could be, you know, just inspiring content. Inspiring content from companies, of course, but from celebrities, from all sorts of life. And as you can see, the um, engagement is really strong. You have over 70 million pictures uploaded every single day and two and a half billion likes. Now, I get asked the question a lot, so how do Facebook and Instagram, how do they go together? What does it mean? So think about you know, Facebook and Instagram, they're very unique and distinct apps, and people use them for very different ways. Whereas Instagram is your, your daily source of inspiration and the passion that you follow. Facebook is the place to connect with your family and friends and discover and share what's most important to you. Now, for businesses, that would mean you know, you'd potentially start seeding an idea or launching a new product with very inspiring you know, imagery and creative on Instagram, and then working that through the marketing funnel. On Facebook, you would then continue with that in really creating mass reach and super micro-targeted sub-campaigns while driving it all the way down you know, from the initial awareness to you know, consideration, purchase intent, and actually a conversion, be it online or offline. Yet Instagram also continues to evolve. And uh, what we've just announced, actually, is that you know, also on Instagram, uh, we create a new way for partners to share, share their stories, and uh, on that platform, become part of the community by integrating direct uh, call to action buttons, like a buy button, like an install button, learn more. And we've also introduced, just recently last week actually, that we'd be opening up the Facebook API for Instagram. That means now you could use you know, Facebook targeting, like interest-based targeting or uh, you know, custom audiences. And through that one, if you want, Facebook Inc. tool, you can now um, also become part of that uh, communication and share your stories uh, within the Instagram community. And we see all those apps evolving, and so does Facebook. When you look at Facebook, you know, five years ago, it is text. It was status updates and wall posts. Um, and with the increasing use of technology and smartphones, the way people interact and share content because it becomes uh, ever richer and with an increasing frequency. So after wall posts, you had pictures. And people shared pictures on a platform. And now, ever since... The Ice Bucket Challenge, it has actually been uh, videos. So people uh, you know, view videos. We told this um, uh, just uh, with our earnings release, over 4 billion video views a day. Now, when we look into the future, and some of you know, we've uh, also bought uh, Oculus Rift as part of our you know, Facebook family. Uh, it's probably going to be virtual reality. What you see here is spherical video. This video is shot with up to 24 different cameras, and you're really immersed in that. Instead of just passively sitting back and consuming, you actually feel like you're right in there, and you can you know, move around, and you can interact. And this opens up a whole new level of sharing as well for our partners in the future, and a whole new level of interaction. And this will be our to-do, so uh, hopefully, you know, as we continue to evolve and continue to grow, uh, we will uh, remain a challenger and come back as a challenger as well and continue to help our apps provide much better experiences to share and uh, provide, of course, our partners um, the tools as well to grow and scale the business. Thank you very much.